Hey everyone, Mr. Mase here, and for today's video, we're going to take a look at Daily Race A, which is the best race ever because it is with the Chaparral 2J. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. So the first thing we're going to do that's a really bad idea is to enter the race without doing any sort of warm-ups before the race. So we're going to have a really bad time. And apparently a lot of people are deciding to skip out in this race because we're matched with DE rated drivers. So there's basically no one doing this race. And I don't blame them because if they've driven the car for at least 10 seconds in the time trial, then yeah, this this car's a bit of a death trap to drive. And you'll see why in a bit. Because we're gonna go ahead and get started with the race, getting ready to break for turn one. And I'm gonna break way too late, breaking at the 100 meter board, and already I'm going to end up in the gravel. And someone else is gonna end up in gravel as well. But basically, I already did a major oopsie. Uh, two major oopsies. First one being not warming up. And oh my goodness, there's already a bunch of chaos going on. Cars spinning out left and right. Cars going into the gravel, including me, going into the walls. Cars trying to pump me, but they get ghosted. Another car going into the wall. <laughs> Yeah, this race is just pure chaos. And the thing is that with the Chaparral 2J, you have to be so careful with your steering and throttle inputs because even just a little too much of either will just make the car spin out. So you have to be really careful with your steering inputs, breaking really early for these turns as one car decided that he just wants none of it and nopes out of the race. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of people just leaving the race early, spinning out, hitting the walls as I'm getting past two, actually three cars. And just going to be really careful through the chicane. Try not to hit the walls as you get nasty five second penalties each time you hit the wall hard enough. Going to see if I can try to get past the Brazilian and going to be able to get the pass done. Now I just need to make sure that I survive the final kink, which you actually have to lift off a of throttle. Then turn in and gonna take advantage of the slipstream with the 2J in front of me, except the slipstream is going to be much stronger than what I anticipated as I'm gonna break from my usual breaking point, but that's actually way too late. And just like in the first lap, gonna end up in the gravel again. And right now I'm a little embarrassed with my driving as it has been atrocious just ending up in the gravel on the same turn and just starting to mess up a lot now. So I do need to be a little careful as I have dirty tires as one car ends up in the gravel, another car ends up in the wall, so I'm going to regain two spots right away. So going to fourth place, three people have already left the race early on as they probably thought that this car was completely undrivable and decided that, yeah, they had enough of this race. Okay, make it another car that just left this race. So four people have left the race now. And that's actually something that was a bit of a common occurrence. I think I've mentioned that already, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, a lot of people leaving the race early as this car is too crazy to drive. going to skip on forward towards the end of lap 2. Just want to see what kind of lap time I'm getting. And it's a very bad 134 as I actually went into the gravel at the start of lap 2. This time actually getting turn 1 right. And that was a bit of a sigh of relief, but... I am still quite a ways behind first place, who is 10 seconds ahead of me. So I need to see if I can try to somehow catch up to him within the span of four laps. And we're going to skip forward towards the middle of lap four, where I'm actually catching up to second and third place just up ahead. I'm gonna break nice and early for this hairpin and actually gonna end up right behind third place. So there's a chance for me to recover podium I'm not too sure if I'll be able to catch up to first place as third place actually ends up hitting the wall and gets a 5 second penalty. Unfortunately he does get in the way so I'll have to slow down for him or at least to not hit him. Gonna see if I can try to get past the Canadian but he is going to keep the position for now but he is about to serve a 5 second penalty so I'm gonna be passing him regardless. There we go just got the pass done. Now I just need to see if I can try to catch up to second place. Luckily, he's not too far up ahead and actually going to get a 129.2. So things are kind of looking up so far. Going to break nice and early before the 150 meter board, except the 2J in second place is actually going to end up in the gravel. So that's one free spot gained right there. 
done. Now I need to see if I can try to catch up to first place who is seven seconds ahead. But unfortunately, that's just not going to happen as towards the end of the race, he was only four and a half seconds ahead of me. So unfortunately, I'm going to take home second place. Oh wait, that's not going to happen because I'm going to be an idiot and spin out on the main straight, hit the wall twice, and get a 10 second penalty. And also face towards the wall, saw the reverse, get the car pointing towards the start finish line, and just try to crawl my way over to the start finish line. But because of that 10 second penalty, I'm actually going to end up in fourth place. So remember, if you're going to do this race, make sure you warm up because the last thing you want to do is enter this race and make a complete fool out of yourself, which is the exact thing I did. So now that I'm a bit warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and enter the second race, which is this race that you're seeing right now. Still not that much participation as there's SR and DR ranks from all over the place. Going to go ahead and get started with this second race where I need to make sure that I have traction control at one to make sure I don't spin out at the start of the race. Going to see if I can try to be a bit more careful about lap one, turn one. And some people are going to break way too late and end up hitting me, but luckily I was able to survive the first turn. One person already leaving the race. And actually in this race, only nine people were able to uh, enter this race. Just going to be nice and careful through these next couple of turns. Just try to take my time as first place is just in front of me. So I just need to try to pressure him into an error and then I'll be able to Okay, he's just going to go wide and I'm going to go ahead and take first place and actually he almost spins out right there. Nice little save from him. And with me in first place, nothing else is going to happen. As I was able to get away from second place and actually I think he ended up leaving the race early. And this race was pretty much uneventful as I was pretty much just driving by myself for the rest of the race. And I was starting to feel a little sad because Participation is very low. People are leaving the race left and right for good reason. And yeah, not much participation in this race. So I was going to get ready to call it a day here, but I said, you know what? I'm going to enter this race one more time and hope that we get a bit more participation. Which is the exact thing that happened because we actually ended up getting some more A plus drivers, including Tyrannosaurus Rex, Ethan, Damien, and TCR Budweiser Ken. I like your name, by the way. And let's go ahead and get started with this race with the lights going green. TCS at zero in a moment. There we go. TCS at zero. And hopefully I can survive turn one just like in the last race. So break nice and early before the 100 meter board, except someone's going to go ahead and dive right into the back of me and just send me into the gravel. So it's just like the first race where I ended up in the gravel. And unfortunately, I just completed the first to last challenge. Now, can I do the reverse where I go from last to first? So let's see if I can make that happen as not just one, but two cars end up in the gravel. So that's two spots gained right there. And actually, there's another car up ahead with a, I think it's a 10 second penalty most likely for walk collisions but so far i gained three spots so things are starting to look a little promising as one car ends up spinning out into the wall another spot gained four positions up gonna end up right behind the canadian but i'm not going to go for the move yet gonna try to take it nice and safe through the breaking zone as he's gonna break way too late and send it into the walls and actually i'm gonna dive into someone at the same time so it's another two positions up and then I'll be getting another position as the other Canadian in front is about to serve a five second penalty. Going to be nice and careful through the chicken except the Brazilian is going to end up in the wall and get a five second penalty. And that's one spot gained right there. Going to gain another spot as the Canadian is about to serve his five second penalty. But the American just up ahead is going to serve the 10 second penalty in the next lap. He is going to go really wide through the final kink and going to get a really good run on him. Going to be able to get past him with no issues. Going to try to break nice and early for the first turn as I did take a bit of advantage of the Supreme. Just go a little bit wide, but not too much of a fuss right there. But going to fast forward through this. So in the span of one lap, I was able to go from first to last to fourth place 
and then passing uh, third place just as I started the new lap, so lap two. It's going to be nice and careful through this hairpin, really easy to mess it up as the Canadian is going to end up hitting the wall and get a five second penalty, so it's going to be another free spot gained in a moment as he will have to serve the penalty in the next penalty serving zone. Going to be nice and careful through the chicane, except he's going to hit the wall again and get another five second penalty. So now he has 10 seconds worth of penalties to serve. And for me, I'm just going to try to keep it nice and clean. Pretty much the goal of this race is to, well, survive. Try to stay on the track at all times and don't hit the walls as those walls are a great source of penalties. So, you know, don't hit the walls. I mean, easier said than done, especially in a car like this. But eventually I am going to be able to catch up to to first place actually. But he is ghosted for some reason. So I had no idea if he was actually ghosted or not. So I just tried to make sure that I didn't get too close to him. So I wouldn't find out the really hard way. But in the meantime, I do need to be a little careful about how aggressive I am to try to force him into an error because the last thing I want to do is be aggressive to where I make the error. Especially in a car like this, it's really unforgiving. If you make an error, you're probably going to end up in the wall and get a five second penalty. So I'm gonna see if we can try to avoid doing that. It's gonna try to be really careful through the through the final kink starting lap four. And I am going to be under his subscription, so I will be able to catch up to him just a little bit more. Just try to be really careful to turn one. Extremely easy to overshoot it. Nice and careful on the throttle. And actually, the really weird thing is that this car actually is a three speed. Only has three gears. But I know he's just staying right behind Budweiser Ken. I love that name. Just trying to be really careful through here, just trying not to get too aggressive, trying not to get too excited with my throttle inputs. And here comes a really good place to try to get the overtake done. So I'm going to go ahead and go right behind him to take advantage of the slipstream so I can see if I can get a little bit closer to him and try to go for the move into this hairpin. But not going to get close enough, actually going to back out just a little bit early, except he's going to go a little bit wide into the hairpin. Going to go side by side with him with some great racing going on between the two of us. But he is slightly ahead, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of this so I can try to set myself up for the chicane. Going to set myself up nice and careful, get a good exit, and he's going to go a little bit slow out of the chicane. Going to go side by side into the final hairpin. Actually going to get the pass done and kind of park it at the apex a little bit. And after that, not much else happened. I was able to keep first place until the very end of the race. Skipping it over towards the end of lap 7. So able to keep first place. And I was able to get another win. Which is pretty nice. Especially in this meme car. In this meme race. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, you can press the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I do have a membership program theme that you can check out down below if you want to further support this channel. And a quick shout out to the channel members. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel as well. And thank you guys for watching the video. And this is Mr. MCA, the world's most okay player. And I'll see you in the next video.